this is going to be the first video on our text chat and pretty much the goal of this little portion is going to be kind of a rust style well chat similar to this here to where you just you know you press enter brings up the little chat window and well it's going to expand it anyways and it'll allow you to pretty much type until you press enter or escape in which case it kind of cancels it out but you can still see I want to have it to where when you're not in this screen it displays you know maybe one two three four or five rough well roughly five messages of the other players this is my second attempt making this because the first one I just randomly googled what I chat and that was something that's not suitable for YouTube unfortunately well, you can think uh, well I'm not gonna go into this never mind so I guess we can go ahead and get started so for now my plan is we're not gonna actually make the chat yet but we're gonna kind of set up our chat component to handle the chat for when we go to make the widgets so what we're gonna be using is starting out we're gonna create a text chat component that we're gonna attach to our character that's gonna have all the information required now the text chat components gonna involve a couple of things such as uh, so my idea here for the first initial portion is when the player you know they press enter they want to send a message that's that string gets sent to a function in the text chat this is gonna be running on the client <coughs> it then checks you know miscellaneous things we're probably gonna do the checks and blueprint but you know if it's less than a certain length and that kind of thing you know to where it's a valid message we send it along with the we're going to be getting our own character's name so we don't have anything set up for the character name right now so I'm just gonna leave it as player zero for all players but we're going to send it to the server the server is then going to get all actors of class via the UK and play statistics of a type uh, the character essentially and then it's going to loop through it's going to uh, what's it called we're going to get our characters we're going to get our line components or our uh, not our line components our chat components from the character and then we're going to call our update function essentially and, it's, and that function is going to take in the message well the formatted message that the uh, one player sent in because I don't want the whole list of messages to be replicated or anything like that that's just something that's in my opinion too big to really be worried about networking instead of networking an entire array of f strings when a player sends a message why not just send individual little messages to each client like so each message to each client and manually store them on the client end into that array so that way it's you know it's just a lot less bandwidth being used uh, so when we go from the server to the client we're going to be using a client RPC to essentially just do that so it shouldn't be uh, all that difficult and I'm hoping nothing goes really wrong but we can start by adding that well creating that component I want to create a new section here call it components because I'm starting to slowly organize everything public components chat component and create once this is done compiling I want to discuss what the well at least my intention is for setting this up on in the future all right let me just fix the header then it was called chat component there we go There we are. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just disable the ticks because those are not going to be needed at all. all right, 
and compile real quick. So my kind of thought process here was to have it all kind of somewhat be controlled by the game mode using R just to make it a little bit a little bit more efficient, but it's probably not going to be much of an issue because we are going to eventually have a kind of a uh, a time between messages that you can send so you can't spam the chat as fast as you possibly can. So I was going to use the logout and the, not the K2 post login, but the normal post login function, well, actually right here, to essentially create an array on the game mode. So on the game mode, it would, as players log in, it's going to add to that array. As they log out, it's going to take away from that array and keep track of the amount of players that way. So it's just one small change instead of constantly looping through all the player controllers. Because if you have a big server, I feel like this might be a little slow, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, entirely sure. We may end up going that route anyhow, but we'll just have to see. All right, so we now have our Jack component. Let's go ahead and add it to our character. Jack and up. And just add it where we do like our line trace and stuff like that. Continue to set this up. All right, like so. And now we can create a simple getter function for this. I'm trying to keep it organized. We gotta find where we have like our line trace. Pretty sure we have one. Or not our line trace, our inventory. Like right here. So you function blueprint callable and return class you chat component get chat component. And all that's going to do is return chat component and compile. Make a new public section, and we need to think of what all we're going to have to be doing. <coughs> so, from the widget, how are we going to set this up? Apparently, well, essentially. So, because we're going to be handling events like, you know, enter key pressed and that kind of thing inside of the widget via Blueprint, we know we're going to have to just make Blueprint callable functions. So, you function Blueprint callable. And then we need to think of what we want to, pretty much how we're going to send it. So I think I'm just going to, it's going to be a void, send message, f string, message. We have that. Now I know we need a server function. So you function server uh, reliable with validation. It's going to be the same thing void server underscore send message f string message. So we're going to have a bool for the validate 
and avoid for the implementation. So validate. And implementation. Now let's create definitions for validate and our implementation. Right, just going to set our validate to return true since I, at least right now, I can't think of any reason to why not. So what we can do is just a quick little, uh, actually, what are we going to do here? We're just going to call server underscore send message message for now. We can also do a check now. Uh, we're going to do the length checking inside of Blueprint, uh, and then we can do a final check on the server for the amount, the total amount of characters that are going to be, um, what's it called? The total amount of characters that the message can have and still be sent. All right, so we're on the server. Now we need to pretty much get all the actors of a class and send, well, essentially just send, um, ah, crap, what's it called? Send messages, what we're going to call client RPCs on those, on the messages, essentially. So we're going to have that on here. So if we include our gameplay statistics, you kismet. Wait, no, it's you gameplay. Statistics, get all actors of class. The reference for world is get world. Then we have the actor class. So we, sh do we have a reference to it right now? A survival, no, we do not. So let's include our survival character. Survival character dot h and a survival character static class and then the array that we're passing it out to. So it's going to be a t array of a actor. I'm just going to call this one um, survival actors. And for the last parameter, we're going to do survival actors and I forgot this is a function so there we are I highly disagree that's because we need to include the engine so include engine world.h and that should hopefully fix it there we go so now we pretty much just loop through. So we're going to do a for loop. So for a actor, actor, and survival actors. Out of curiosity, can we just do a survival character? Nope. I had just a slight bit of hope. All right, so we're going to check if actor, if a survival character player equals cast a survival character from actor. We can do player uh, get chat component. And here's where we can access all of our functions. So we're on the server right now. And we essentially need to call client RPCs from the player we're accessing. So let's go ahead and make one of those. So you function client reliable. I don't think we need to validate. So void client underscore receive message f string message. And when we do this stuff like adding player name, that'll all be done on the server since our player name should be replicated anyhow. Out of curiosity, I'm going to go ahead and compile and make sure I've done this right, because I've never actually created a client RPC, I don't think. All right, so I wonder if it's the exact same then. I'm going to look it up real quick. 
good. Replace the game mode. <clears throat> yeah, I'm guessing that's should be correct then. Let's make sure that it is this that's actually throwing the air. All right, so that is not the case. So what am I missing here? Oh wait, I'm getting a completely different issue actually. So I'm gonna save and try to restart the project real quick. And compile. Uh, this is going to be annoying. Well, I'm going to go fix this and I'll be back. Fixed it. <laughs> Whoops. Eh, actually, yeah, I'll just get rid of it. So, let's uncomment. Let's create an implementation version. Actually, make this a const reference again. and create the definition for the implementation function. All right, like so, and let's see if we can compile. And implementation is spelled wrong, again. Now compile. All right, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and actually just compile and restart the editor. There we go. So now what we want to, what the plan is for the client, I'm going to create another protected section. We want to pretty much have an array that's going to store the messages. So it's going to be a T array, TF string, call this one chat messages. So on the client, what we're going to do is if message.length is greater than zero, we're going to add it. So client chat or chat messages dot add. What we're going to add is message. And this is essentially what we're going to be reading in our blueprint. So I'm going to create another function. It's going to return a T array. It's going to be of type F string. K 
get chat messages. Make it a U function. And make it blueprint callable and compile. And I never created the definition. Now compile, returning chat messages. Alrighty. So now that we are trying to think, we should be pretty much set up. So trying to think for blueprint, you know, press enter, gives you the ability to type. You type in your message to that text box, press enter again, and that's going to send the string, what's in the text box, to send message from our chat component. Send message is then going to send it that message to the server. We'll eventually do some checking here. Just to be on the safe side, we might end up doing that in Blueprint. Then once on the server, we get all the actors of the type survival character. I'm actually going to print it out to make sure we are in fact getting them. Actually, I have nothing. We're not calling this yet, so I can't. Uh, well, actually I can. So for a test, winning text, uh, player right, I'm just going to print out a simple log and we'll do this another one message and a print out message now let's go to the character real quick. And we're just going to do this when we, I guess. Why not do it when we crouch? So get chat component, send message, what we want to string, or what do we want to send? Test message. And compile, and let's see if it works. Play with, let's do four. All right, gonna crouch. All right, it's going to seven because of the others in there. So I'm gonna do a quick little test. So we should have, I think that was four times. Yeah, I'm getting a little lost. Close all these. Now I just need to find the one for the server. I think that's you. Wait. Is he an unwrap? All right, yeah, here's the server, duh. All right, so bring that one up. Then on this client, going to crouch, and let's check the server again. Yep, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we are in fact getting the characters and we're casting them and performing the test message on them. All right. Gonna do one more quick test. Gonna close all these down. Get chat component. Client receive message. Pass in message. All right. And we're going to print out the same log, but on the client. I 
change that to get owner and get the name from the owner, which should be our the same kind of corresponding name, third person, you know, character, whatever. Let's open up with two clients and we should be able to see both clients being well getting the message so this is that server is it i think that one's server okay you're the server i'll put you down here client one's log and client two's log server minimize all right, gonna crouch on this guy. All right, here's client one, or maybe two, not, no. This one's the client we crouched on. As you can see, crouching, then the message gets sent, then we uncrouch. Then here's the other client. So that you can see the message got sent right on through, and it's printing out zero because they are the quote unquote first character for themselves essentially. So you're always gonna be at index zero when you're the client. So that is good to go. So we're sending and receiving the messages across the board from client to the rest of the clients. All right, I will see you in the next one when we expand on this.